you guys welcome back to the channel i'm mary coming at you from kind country living thank you for stopping by if you're new to the channel welcome please like comment and subscribe if you like what you see today all right so today we're going to do a easy um recipe but i say all of my recipes are easy but i work at a wick clinic so today my um recipe is made with all of wick food and i'm making a cheesy um salmon loaf and so here is um, how it goes. I'm going to use one whole can of salmon. And guys, I want to share with you because I know a lot of people think I'm kind of crazy because I wash the tops of my can. Make sure you thoroughly wash the tops of your can because you don't know where the, these cans have been. Um, so thoroughly wash your cans. Okay, so we're going to just take this top off because I've already opened it. I didn't do anything magic by just pulling it off. I had already used my can opener. Okay, so I don't drain my salmon. I use the liquid and all. And so I'm just going to pour it here in the bowl. And I got, I kept the can out because this is the way I do it if I'm actually cooking. Because I don't use, um, keep my bones in. I know some people do. But I take and take the bones out. All these big bones, I take them out. Some people say they just mash them up. But I really don't want to be cracking on those bones, so I take my bones out. But if you guys like the bones, you know, by all means, leave the bones in if you think you have to have them. But I don't like the bones, so I pick it out. And it doesn't take long to pick um, these bones out because I already got them all out already. Because, like, the little small ones, I pull, try to pull those out too. But, like, the little small ones are okay, but these big ones are, whew. I just don't want to be cracking in those. But that's all it is. And this is a nice, um, easy way to um, fix salmon. If you like salmon, it's a different way than just frying canned salmon or scrambling them. Because I do scramble them sometimes, just do them in the cast iron skillet. But um, like I said, I want to use a good bit of wick foods. So I decide to... Um, do this salmon loaf that I used to make all the time. Because it's really good. Um, I usually serve it with um, like mashed potatoes and like sweet peas or mixed vegetables. Um, I mean, it's really a nice, easy way to do it. And then if any wit clients are watching today, um, you know, the mixed vegetables and little sweet peas, you can get them on your um, wit vouchers, with your wit vouchers anyway. So like I said, that could this could be a whole... A meal of just wick food and I just take and mash it all up real good and fine and then the next thing I do I use two cups of um, breadcrumbs and the breadcrumbs I use is just my um old bread you know I save my bread if you've been watching me for a while I don't throw away a whole bunch of stuff so I just use um, the little end pieces or just use any kind of breadcrumbs that you would like but if you're a wick um, participant you get bread tortillas all that kind of stuff on your wick so you can um, use that um towards your um for your recipe and then the next thing i do is i i'm using one fourth cup of celery one fourth cup of onion chopped that's what that is so we'll put all that in and just mix it up a little bit and then i use a half a cup of milk and I just pour a little bit in here that's half a cup of milk but I'll mix it a little bit so I can get it all good and incorporated and if you don't like onions and celery you don't have to use it and I'm just gonna do black pepper to taste you don't have to put black pepper in if you don't want to if you don't like black pepper you want some other type of seasoning but I like black pepper so I put a little black pepper in there just for taste and then the next thing that um, I do, I'm going to go ahead and add my cheese. And this is a half a cup of sharp cheddar. Um, and, you know, this is optional. I'm going to put all of mine in, but if you want to save a little bit, reserve a little bit and put it on the top, you can. But I'm not. I'm just putting all of mine um, into the loaf. You know, I make it different ways. Sometimes I don't even put cheese in it. Sometimes I don't put celery in it. Um, sometimes I just do onions. So I kind of just switch it up different ways, but... This is a way you can kind of hide vegetables into your dishes so your kids eat vegetables. 
So that's why I um, added um, that little celery because that adds um, a few more vegetables to the dish. Because sometimes it's hard to get kids to eat vegetables. And I go ahead and put my other um, remainder of my half a cup of milk in. And that's all it is, guys. I mean, it is this recipe is so, so easy. It's not funny how easy it is. That took me probably all of about three minutes to mix this um to mix this dish up. Like I said, it don't take very long to do it at all. All right, and then the next thing you'll need, you'll need your loaf pan. And you can take it um you spray your loaf pan. And you can spray it with butter or you can use um, cooking spray. I'm using cooking spray because I just like cooking spray. But if you don't have cooking spray, you can just use butter because I did that before too. If I was out of cooking spray, or you can use um, Crisco. If you had Crisco, you can just melt a little bit or put a little bit on paper towel and um, put it around in your um, dish. Just kind of use what you have. I think some people make a big deal out of cooking. They don't even want to use do a recipe if they don't have all the ingredients that they say. But that's how you make your recipes your own. And then you're going to just put it in your um, dish here. And like I say, if you wanted some of your cheese to, to be on the top, you could. If you wanted to. But like I said, I wanted all of my cheese inside. So I put all of it inside. And if you wanted a bigger loaf, you could just use two cans of salmon. But like I said, I always just use one can because this is probably a feed. You probably could get eight slices about eight um, nice servings out of um, this. And if you had bigger ones, you probably could get six, but about eight servings. And that's pretty good for uh, one can of salmon. This is enough to feed a family of eight. And, and, and for people that's not on WIC, you know, this is another way to um, stretch your food dollars with um, the price of food going up. You know, one can of salmon. Um, for a meal is not bad and add a few sides to it all right and then i will bake this on 350 degrees for one hour so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in my oven and i preheated my oven to 350 degrees so we'll go ahead and put it in here and you know i always tell you different ovens cook um different so um you may want to check it after about 45 minutes to make sure your oven is not cooking really fast to make sure um, it's not overcooking. But usually in my oven, it takes about 40, um, like about an hour. About an hour. All right. And so we're going to go ahead because, you know, I always like to taste my food for you guys. So we're going to do the same thing. And for the sake of time, I have um, one already ready. And, you know, I have to try to get my little picture with this. So this is my um, cheesy salmon loaf. And so we'll go ahead and cut this. Get that out of my hand. So y'all can see um, how easy it cuts. Yeah, you can get, like I said, eight servings out of here. And um, we're gonna try to get this out without tearing it up. I cooked it a while ago, so it should come out but I'm gonna get, um, that's like the corner piece. And I like the corner piece, but I will pull that piece out just for the sake of the picture because it looks a little better than that corner piece. But I like that crusty piece that's around that. I like that crust. All right. So we're gonna taste this for you guys. All right, let me bless it. Father God, thank you for the food that I'm about to receive. For the nourishment of my body. Father God, bless every viewer that viewed this video. You know what they stand in the need of. You know their wants. You know their desire. Please grant them their wants and their de desires. If it's finances they're having problems with, bless their finances. If it's marital problems, be a counselor for them, oh God. Father God, if it's problems with their kids, Father mercy God, just be there for them, whatever the situation may be. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. All right, so let me um, taste this for you guys. Oh, I know it's going to be good. Mm -mm. That is good, y'all. Y'all are going to like this. This is the bomb. 
Like I said, and your kid is gonna like this because it's really, really quick to make. It's easy, it's simple. It don't take a lot. Like I said, and most kids like mashed potatoes. You can do mashed potatoes, you can do green beans, you can do mixed vegetables, sweet peas. You can do rice. You can do this like numerous of ways you can serve this. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. And remember, it doesn't cost a dime to be kind. So now share my video. Share, share, share. Because it doesn't cost you anything to share. Give me a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And you know what I always say. It doesn't cost a dime to be kind. And I love you. And...